Hello everyone from uh, Patio Frutal. Today I'm going to show you how are my uh, nuts uh, trees doing. And uh, <clears throat> this particular tree that we are looking right here, it's about hmm, over 15 feet tall. This is a sweet chestnut uh, plant. And this plant was a or is a seedling, meaning that I grew from seed. I didn't grow, I bought it, but it was a seedling. So, <clears throat> as you see, it's pretty tall and it hasn't fruited yet. This tree has been on the ground for about, say, 16, 15, 16 years. Hasn't produced yet because it is a seedling and you have to keep that in mind when you're ordering your trees. If you're not uh, getting a grafted tree, well, you're gonna see that your, uh, your tree is gonna take a long time and you gotta have patience for that. When I bought it, I did not know the meaning of seedling and grafted, so I just started to buy trees. But anyway, live and learn. So that tree, like I said, is quite old already and I'm glad it was young when I got it but anyhow uh, so I'll let you know what it is I'll show you a picture right here what it looks like kind of look like a uh, uh, panapen which is a tree that we've seen in the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and you cook it the same way you boil it or rust it and that's how you eat it sweet like a sweet potato and uh, if you can see the size of the tree, it grows pretty big. But if you decide to grow this, and if you don't have the space, uh, buy a grafted tree. That way you can uh, have a small tree. Unless you're uh, looking for a shade tree of some sort that you can see it under. But that's how big that is, and it hasn't produced yet. But the hope is still alive. So now I'm gonna go uh, around here and I'll show you these dead trees that you see around here. But this area is where I designated to grow my chestnuts so they can be big trees. And since I got those dead trees there, well, I have to cut them down first. You see dead trees, two there and three more over here. So those die because of a uh, infestation of a uh, caterpillar uh, that kill a lot of the oak trees here in New England in uh, zone 6b so we're gonna walk now I'm gonna show you my other nut trees uh, that I have in the yard so it's gonna be a little walk and uh, we're gonna go to show you uh, the hazelnuts I got hazelnuts that are uh, Japanese hazel heart nut it looks like a heart shape and uh, we can see those trees in the distance now these trees look very nice uh, they came quite a good size just about as high as they are right now they're like uh, close to five feet tall so we're gonna start with this one here and this one here oops, all right I'll show you the picture what the fruit looks like they call it the heart nut shape because that's what it has, heart nut shape. And this is a Japanese hazelnut. So we have two Japanese hazelnut. We got a row of five trees here and the one at the end and then one at the other end, they're both Japanese. So the reason they are like that, in between those uh, other three trees is because you need cross pollination. Not that you actually need, but you want to have cross pollination. Now, those two are Japanese, and these three here, each one is a different variety. So, so we'll see what the hazelnuts uh, look like. And that's a dwarf American, but this one is not a dwarf American. But the the shape of the fruit is uh, very similar. So we're gonna go and reach down <clears throat> that's why you got to keep your tags that way you know exactly 
<clears throat> the varieties that you have. And that's the uh, polio hazelnut. <clears throat> so, that's the po so that's one variety. And then we're gonna come to the next tree. She's growing very nicely. He already has grown hmm, a foot up. It was just one stick. Now he's getting all these branches because they, they, they grow into like, a, you can have it as a bush shape or you can have it as a tree shape. So it's up to you to do your diligence to get it in the shape that you want it. So this one here is a Webster hazelnut or Avellana. And look how beautiful that's looking. They're all looking pretty nice because they were just a plain stick. If you go to my previous uh, video from early spring, you see what it really looked like, just a plain skinny stick. But this one came nicely, uh, full of roots. Um, <clears throat> and this one is the Tita his hazelnut. And so, you see how that one looks? That's the other Japanese one. So there you go, guys. So I got this other five, and then I got five more. Oh, and <clears throat> before I go to the end of this video, well, let's walk out this way. We have some other tr uh, nut trees here, but I never eat these nuts because I don't know if they're edible. They're called hickory. And I don't think it's an edible nut, but that's just a wild uh, plant. So over here, we have another road of five more different uh, hazelnuts. These are uh, European hazelnuts. And we got the Filbert hazelnut. So we got five, three here, and these are two other different varieties. It's the Filbert and the European. So they are intermittently, so the Europeans is one, and the one in the middle and the one and the other one. And then in the center you got the the, the filbert. That's in the that's the second and the fourth there. That way you get good cross pollination. Uh, and the differences in size is from the different companies that I bought this. So these five here came from uh, Willis Nursery. Uh, they came early spring and they got a little bit of frostbite because it was too cold here in my zone 6B. Uh, so they died back a little bit because they were growing a little when they came. So it was still too cold. And now this over here is an almond plant. And the almond plants look very similar to the peach. So I'll show you what the almond plant is. Holds hardy. So that's that one there. And then we have another one on the other end. Over there, you can see it from here. So that other one. So this, these seven plants came together. So now we're going to go to show you our last uh, two uh, nut trees that we have for this year 2021. So I'm going to show you. And look at the peaches. Peaches are going to do awesome this year. There's so many of them. Look at that. Look how beautiful that's looking. Looking pretty nice. These are huge peaches. So we're going to move on because we're not in, in a peach video today. So back in these two containers here, I have like the previous plant that I showed you, the first hazelnut. I got these two. Uh, young plants, and these are the uh, hazelnuts. <coughs> I mean chestnuts. Sorry, and this one is the Sukuba chestnut, right? And then this other one. focus is the silver, silver leaf hazelnut. So now those two plants are in container right now because they, once I cut those uh, dead trees that I show you, 
at the beginning, with those two chestnuts are gonna go in that area there. And uh, that's what we are planting, planning to do. And those two plants are gonna go down the other end. So there you go, guys. Uh, just to show you that you can grow all kinds of things in this uh, uh, New England, England Zone 6B. Uh, not just apples and peaches. You can grow some nuts and go nuts about. So here you go, guys. From Patio Frutal, uh, leave a comment and like, share, and subscribe. And uh, wish you have a good evening.